Welcome to this video walkthrough of our 2019 Willoughby Mistral. It's a 30 by 10 two bed. It's got double glazing gas central heating and it's priced at 17995 We're just in the living room area here and going to have a look around the place, the condition and layout. As you can see up in this living room area, we've got this uh, L-shaped corner sofa fitted here. We've got the dining table and a couple of stools there. And in a lot of caravans, you would have a separate dining and living area. Um, but I think they've prioritised bedroom space in this one. So you could obviously use the dining table, you could remove it. Um, up to you on what you'd obviously want to do there. Uh, it's got a place for a uh, TV to go over in the corner. Um, so obviously the idea being that uh, that goes up on the wall, um, saves your floor space over in the corner there where your gas radiator is. So as I said, you could use this as a dining area or if you weren't bothered about having a dining table, um, you could obviously take that out and just use it as living room seating. So just sort of highlighting that as it's a little bit different to um, a lot of caravans. You've got uh, LED spotlights in here uh, with a sort of panelled ceiling, um, plenty of uh, kitchen space here. Um, nice modern caravan, um, sorry, nice modern curtains, um, as it obviously only two or three years old. Gas oven there, um, kitchen worktop and space, it's all fairly new being only a few years old and no real damage to anything which is good. Uh, vinyl looks to be okay, um, just having a quick scan across. The vinyl here through the living area all the way back to the bedrooms up the hallway. Uh, there's one exterior door which comes into the hallway which we'll see in a minute microwave space on the left hand side um, so you've got space over on the right hand side for a, a pretty big fridge freezer um, not one included in this one but just a big space there to have one fitted which is quite handy and then coming down the caravan on the right hand side here we've got a storage cupboard there and then we've got a boiler cupboard here a boiler doing our central heating as we come down the hallway, as I say, you can see the exterior door there on the right-hand side, our bathroom door on the left, and then if we keep going down the hallway where we pass the gas uh, radiator, we get to the rear of the caravan where we find our main bedroom. Fairly standard main bedroom, really, with a 10-foot wide, which obviously um, space down either side of the bed, although it's reduced compared to a 12, um, but then you've got decent wardrobe storage and then your little sort of desk unit there, vanity makeup desk there, window on the rear of the caravan. Same style ceiling in here as the rest of the caravan with the spotlights as well, but we have got carpet fitted to the bedrooms rather than the vinyl flooring that we have um, all the uh, rest of the caravan. Coming back out of the main bedroom and turning to our right hand side, you can see in our twin room here, it's a bigger twin room than you would get in most caravans. Um, but that is because you've got a decent sized twin bed on the left hand side, which looks to be sort of about a two foot six, maybe at least, at least a two foot six. And then on the right hand side here, we've got these big bunk beds, which may even be three foot beds. beds sorry. Um, might need to get the tape out in a bit to measure those but as you can see that is um, set up here so if you've got a couple of children or three kids that you go in the same room um, or you know obviously these could be removed in favor of some desk space or storage but it is a much bigger twin room than you'd get in most 10 foot caravans um, you could keep the bunk beds on the left here for two children and remove this single bed uh, for storage so a few different possibilities really with uh, how you use this room um, but as I say it, because they've pinched a bit of room off up the front you have got that bigger twin room compared to most uh, 10 foot caravans coming back up towards the kitchen then you turn to our right hand side and we've got our bathroom where we find our toilet there our sink unit on the left hand side with a little mirror unit and then our, um, our shower here sliding door from the left hand edge there which pivots um, in the middle there and as you can see um, decent shower tray plastic enclosure there and we do have a heated towel rail here on the left hand side which runs off the gas central heating system so that is the inside of the Willoughby Mistral. Let's have a look around the outside. It's the outside of the Willoughby Mistral. Um, just coming down the non-door side here. Damage free down here, which is good. A little bit of a scuff on the back here, which is mostly on the down uh, on the trim. Sorry, so we could re replace that trim if we needed to, but I mean, it's barely anything to be honest that you don't really notice until you get up close. Nothing really to report on the rear of the caravan. And then on the door side here, 
nothing much either. You can see it's got this feature panel here, um, which runs from the first panel join to the join above the door. Um, just something a little bit different from the park they've come from. Um, obviously something just um, chosen by the previous owners to give it that little bit of a highlight. Um, so if you really wanted to, this could probably be sprayed uh, to be in with the same color as the rest of the caravan if required. Uh, but if you like it, then there's obviously no reason to do that. Um, looking at the chassis, it's a galvanized chassis, so no issues there. Clean and tidy underneath, nothing to report. So that's been our Willoughby Mistral 30 by 10 two bed from 2019. It's got double glazing, gas century eating. It's priced at 17,995.